Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in all new no rest for the wicked. I hope this video helps you out so make sure to stick around till the end and leave your computer specs down in the comments below. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that you have to open up settings on your PC. Then go all the way down to gaming, go over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar consumes a lot of memory in the background and disabling so will help you to get better performance. After that, go back to gaming, go over to game mode and turn this thing on. I have tested this countless times and game mode turned on gives you better performance in the games. Right beneath that, go over to graphic settings, then click on change default graphic settings and enable both of these options since they will allow you to utilize your GPU for ending the games as well as reducing your input latency. After that, go back to graphics and over here you'll find the list of all of the installed apps and games that utilizes your GPU on your PC. Now what you have to do is click on the browse button and then go over to the install location of your game. Once you find the game, simply select the exe file, click on add. Then go over to options, click on high performance and then click on save. Once that is done, close the settings. Step number two is deanimating your windows and it is super simple. Search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and right over here, click on adjust for best performance and then select show thumbnails instead of icons, save taskbar thumbnail previews as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. All of these three enabled will help you to minimize the animations of your windows allowing you to increase your FPS by a bit in your games. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors which is legit, reliable and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin as well as PC game gift gift cards and genuine windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that windows activation mark. There are multiple payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. After that, go over to the advanced section, for virtual memory, click on change, deselect automatically manage paging file size, for initial size, set this thing to 1361 that is a little over 1 GB, then open up your calculator and also open up your system information on your PC, take a look of your installed physical memory that is 32 GB for me. So multiply and install physical memory with 1024 and it will give you the value in megabytes since initial size asks you in megabytes as well as the maximum size. Now what you have to do is divide this whole value by 2 and the value that you get over here is what you have to paste in the maximum file size. So I've already done it, simply click on set, click on ok and this is how you optimally set your virtual memory for better gaming experience on your PC. Next step is compatibility tweaks and for that you have to open up your game folder. So for that open up your steam, go over to your library, locate your game, right click on it, go over to manage and then click on browse local files. Once you're here right click on your exe file and then go over to properties. Then head over to the compatibility section, click on run this program compatible for windows 8 and then click on disable full screen optimization, click on change high DPA scaling behavior and select this option, click on ok and then click on apply. Next step is local group policy editor and this will only work for windows pro users so if you if you have a windows home, I would suggest you to skip this step. Simply search for local group policy editor and once you are here, extend the screen just so you can see it. In the computer configuration, click on administrative templates, windows components, app privacy and over here you'll find let windows apps run in the background. Simply double click on it and make sure that this is enabled and default for all application is set to force deny. So this will enable this registry and set it to force deny running the applications in the background. Once that is done, simply click on apply, click on ok and close this. Next step is defragging your disk and it is super simple. Simply search for defragment and optimize drives. And once this window opens up, you'll find all of your listed hard disk and solid state drive right over here. Now if you have an SSD, I would recommend you to click on optimize and it will start trimming the SSD and it will help you to increase your performance. And similarly, if you have a hard disk drive, simply click on analyze and then click on optimize and it will start defragmenting 
your hard disk drive. Once again, click on change settings and make sure that run on a schedule is set to daily and that should be done. Next step is creating a restore point and this is super simple. Search for create a restore point on your PC and once you're over here, select your local disk C, then click on create and name it no rest for the wicked just so you can remember it from and i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss once it is done simply click on close close system properties and now let's move to the next step that is no rest for the wicked fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you can also join my discord server for detailed downloading tutorial now over here you'll find five simple folders first one is a cpu priority simply open it up and i have left two folders that is amd and intel cpu priority so if you have an amd cpu like me you can double click and run the amd cpu priority i've already done it however if you have an intel cpu you can run the intel cpu priority next is the ram optimization and once again i have left a ton of preset for you guys i have 32 gb ram but you can find the one that you use from this list and once again if you don't like it you can always reset it back to default third is the no rest for the wicked priority in which i have left the default high and above normal priority so do leave your specs down in the comments below and i'll be telling you guys which one to choose from once again if you don't like it you can always use the default priority fourth folder is the unwanted services and this is completely optional you have to double click and run all of them for extra fps but once again if all of the steps above had given you better fps Yes, then you do not have to do it however it will be really beneficial for all of your windows performances so you can simply double click and run them and once again you can always revert them back from this folder last is the programs folder and this is also very beneficial right click and run the msi mode utility 3.0 and once you're over here you have to make sure that your graphic card is listed in here make sure that you click on the msi button in front of it and from undefined set this thing to high then simply click on apply and it will set your gpu affinity to a higher state last is the unpack cpu and this is also very beneficial app simply double click to run it up once the application opens up the interface looks pretty simple over here it will tell you enabled and park cores now windows by default has this tendency to park your unused cores on your pc and it will reduce the performance because the cores are not in use so once again slide this parking index all the way to 100 percent and then set your system power plan to high performance or ultimate performance if that is available on your pc and then simply click on apply and then all of the cores will be enabled so whenever you play the game you'll get the maximum performance and all of your cpu cores are currently active once again close this application close your fps pack and now let's move to the best in game settings for the game all right for the best setting press your escape key and then go over to display make sure that you play on the resolution of your native monitor resolution and your display mode should always be full screen vsync should be turned off frame rate cap should be turned off brightness contrast and saturation should be your preference then go over to the graphic settings and right over here you have to select the render scale, set this thing to 90%, then press escape, sharpness, set this thing to 100%, motion blur, set this thing to around 60%, frame rate independent motion blur, turn this thing off, dynamic resolution scaling, turn this thing on, target FPS, set this thing to 60, maximum X scaling, set this thing to 60, and maximum Y scaling, set this thing to 70. For quality presets, set this thing to performance. And once that is done, you can press your escape key to get out of it and now you can enjoy the best fps possible for this game so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash your subscribe button also if you guys are not a part of our channel member yet do get the channel membership as it really helps me out a lot we'll see you guys in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching Bear Fox, and peace out